I can't believe what I'm reading. This is not good. You guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Please hit the like. Please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. So, a former member of Diddy Dirty Money called out ex-bad boy artists who have been trashing him and claimed that they have disgruntled employee syndrome. Can you believe that? Kalena Harper was one of the many people interviewed by Rolling Stone for the scatting piece documenting six months of investigation into the bad boy founder's life, allegations, and horrific untold stories. The singer-songwriter Kalena Harper says one of the highs of her life was joining Diddy's Diddy Dirty Money. Wait, what? Diddy Dirty Money group in 2009. He was effing cool as ish, she says, adding that artists who blame Combs for the trajectory of their careers may suffer from disgruntled employee syndrome. Kalena, alongside former Donnelly Kane member Dawn Richard, Form Diddy Dirty Money in 2009. They released one album in 2010 and performed together for about a year and then they broke up in the early 2010s. The trio reunited in 2022 for Diddy's latest album, The Love Album, released in 2023. Despite the controversy surrounding Diddy, Kalena remains one of the few who speaks positively about her time working with him. You see, I have a problem with her statement because I want to remind everyone that all the artists had issues with Diddy. Artists like Mace, Faith Evans, Day 26, Carl Thomas, 112, Notorious B.I.G., Black Rob, G. Depp, Mario Wainans, The Band, and many more. And Aubrey O'Day, a singer from Donnelly Kane, recently told TMZ that her time at Bad Boy was abusive. She claimed Diddy tried to coerce her into signing an NDA by withholding her publishing rights. And let's not forget all the former bad boy artists such as the Locks and Young Jock have had public conflicts with Diddy. And Mark Curry dedicated his 2009 memoir, Dancing with the Devil, How Puff Burned the Bad Boys of Hip Hop, to detailing his alleged negative experiences with the label. Even the late Notorious B.I.G., whose career is closely tied to Bad Boy's legacy, was reportedly planning his exit from Diddy's company. And there's Cassie, who only released one album of her 10-album deal, okay? He had her on a 10-album deal. Make it make sense. He didn't want her for that. He wanted a week Someone who he could control, abuse, and pass around. He passed her around to the higher ups, these top executives, for favors, you know, for orgies, all kind of sick stuff. I believe he was running a SEX ring. Because remember, they said he has SEX workers, right? In her lawsuit, she said every freak off. He had the laptop set up. He had the phone set up. So that means he probably was giving out links to these men so they could tune in. They probably paid some kind of membership and they would tune in and watch every orgies that they would have every weekend, you know? And remember, too, 50 Cent came out and said that he sent, you know, him a picture, a naked picture, of Cassie in a compromising position 
right? And then he was trying to pretend like he didn't know where the picture came from. And that's when 50 was like, wait a second, man, it was him who sent me the picture because he knew that 50 could spread things around. He wanted 50 to put it all out there, to put the picture out there, to spread the word. 50 said, people know if they want something to spread, he's the go-to guy. So he tried to use 50 to advertise his freak-offs. Sick mother effer, yo. SEX Trafficking is a billion-dollar business. But back to Diddy's artists. All of them have left him. Would you like to know who are left on Bad Boy? (laughs) Apart from Diddy, his stepson, Quincy, and his son, Christian. Only Janelle Monae is left on the label. She's the only one left. And wasn't it last year, I believe? She had some kind of crisis on stage. She left up her shirt. And try to show her boobs. Like, what are you doing? Really? I do have a problem with Kalina's statement. I find it hard to believe. She is the only one that Diddy did not F over. So you want us to believe that you are the exception. I watched a video of hers where she was saying she she was just so happy to work with Diddy. Because at the time, she just had a baby. She had an eight-month baby when someone took her to Diddy's house, okay? I feel like she was just so happy to just get out from her situation. She felt like she made it, that anything else doesn't matter, you know? It helped her get out the ghetto or the whatever living situation she was dealing with. But for you to say that all these artists have a disgruntled employee syndrome, that is wrong. Because you, because I don't believe one bit that you are the exception. No, I do not. Just say you happy because just last year you worked with him. So you got a check. So you happy. But to come out at these people, including Cassie, remember, She was an artist. That was the plan. And he turned her into something else. You're wrong. To me, you come off as someone who's just so happy to be out the hood. You'd rather suck it up than going back in the hood, not being known. Whatever you had to deal with, whatever you went through, is better than being in the hood. At least it paid off. That's what I got from watching that interview you did, okay? And you know, there are whispers that some bad boy a and executives would expect sexual favors from female artists in exchange for professional attention. A former bad boy staff said They would hear about female artists being asked to do stuff with some of the other male executives. So miss me with all that. Miss, oh no, it didn't happen to me. Diddy treated me better than anyone. Oh no, no, no. Oh, Diddy, uh, 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 everything was great. Everything, uh, uh, he treated me like like a princess. He did, did, BS, okay? You're not fooling anyone. You could lie to yourself, but you can't lie to us. Well, at least not me. You can't lie. You can't fault me. Okay? Kalina, you're full of it. And you know it. So stay in denial. Put all that BS behind you if you want to. But we know the truth. Okay? So anyway. <laughs> yeah, that was like, come on. Disgruntled, really? Are you the only one? You are the only one? That you walking around saying you are the only one. Did he treat you better than anyone? Really? Why is that? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Anyway. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like. Please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.